Yo, what is up YouTube, Lee the Captain here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining why I decided to buy Polygon's native cryptocurrency called Matic. And one of the major reasons why is because I think that Polygon is fundamentally fantastic. Polygon is a layer two scaling platform for Ethereum based applications to tackle the problems that exist with Ethereum right now while at the same time leveraging Ethereum security. And now when I say that, some people, they may be wondering, what is the benefit of a layer two scaling platform much like Polygon? You know, why is it so important? And the reason why I think it's so important is because as of right now, when it comes to Ethereum, there is a couple of major drawbacks. Most notably, first of all, the gas fees when it comes to Ethereum, it's just through the roof. It's absolutely unbelievable. And I think it's absolute caca. I mean, the gas fees when it comes to Ethereum, it's just insane. And also on top of that, Ethereum in its current form is still not scalable. You know, even despite being Ethereum 2.0 and even despite, you know, being proof of stake, it's still not scalable as of right now. So Ethereum, it could be said that it's not a perfect blockchain as of right now. However, through Polygon, all of these issues that I just mentioned before, they're quite essentially gone. You know, that's how amazing Polygon is. I think the use case is absolutely fantastic. However, it doesn't end there because I think that Polygon is doing very well as of right now, statistically speaking. If we take a look at this, Polygon has been able to process over 3 billion transactions and it even has been able to facilitate over 2.5 million transactions in the past 24 hours alone, which I think is insane. You know, Polygon is extremely reliable. In addition, there's currently over 600,000 holders as well, which I think is something to behold. I think that if anything showcases the conviction that people still have for Matic. And here's the thing, when it comes to Polygon's native cryptocurrency called Matic, the way I view it is that it is providing me with such a fantastic risk to reward ratio. And why do I say that? Because I believe that by me acquiring Matic right now, I am not risking to lose that much in order to potentially gain a lot in the future. And of course, this is not financial advice, but when I take a look at Matic right now, it's down around 70% from its all-time high price. You know, it's down quite a lot right now. However, on the contrary, do I think that Matic can go down around 70% in price from where it is right here right now? I think the probability of that happening is extremely low. And of course, if I buy Matic right now, the price could go down, but I don't think it can go down hypothetically 70% from right now. Again, right, I think the probability of that happening is extremely minimal. I think if anything, Matic is much closer to a bottom than it is a top. I think the ceiling is very far away, but I think the floor is very close. So when I see something this amazing, yet this low in price, how can I not buy it? I think that Matic is such a no-brainer pick for me. And that's why I am constantly dollar cost averaging into Matic. I am ignoring the short to medium term price movements, and I'm focused on the next bull run. A lot of people out there, they like to go on the comment section and they like to say, wow, you know what? The price of Matic is down 5% right now. It's down 2%. Oh my goodness. But here's the thing. I could care less about that because again, right? I am ignoring the short to medium term price movements. I'm focused on the next bull run. When I dollar cost average, you know, I'm ignoring what happens to the price of Matic in a week, in a month, in the next two months. You know, all that type of stuff is relevant to me because by dollar cost averaging, you're taking more of a long-term approach. And a lot of people out there, they like to make a video on Polygon, but then all they do is that they pull up a chart on Matic, they draw some random triangle. I don't know if they're trying to draw a G-string or a thumb or something like that, but then they say, oh wow, technical analysis says you gotta use leverage here, you gotta swing trade here, you gotta, you know, short here, you gotta go along here. But here's the thing, right? A lot of people that I know that day trade, swing trade, or use leverage, they get absolutely wrecked. And also on top of that, doing unnecessary stuff like that creates a lot of stress and anxiety. And who wants that? And now, of course, that's all psychological advice, but I don't want to get wrecked. And that's why I like to keep it simple. I just dollar cost average. You know, I think that the equivalent of day trading or swing trading is like someone buying a home with a leaky roof that they know they can't afford to fix. And that right there could very well be a recipe for a disaster. I personally believe in dollar cost averaging and that's why I do that. I can't wait for the next bull run. And if you wanna know my price prediction for Matic during the next bull run, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video and I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out, peace, boy.